Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's look is inspired by the gorgeous Kendall Jenner. She posted a picture of herself on Instagram a few weeks ago now and straight away I knew I had to try and recreate that smoky eye as I absolutely love looks like this. Starting out with the eyes, I'm going to prime them first and then I put some concealer all over the eyelid and blending out with a damp beauty blender. I then set all of that into place with a translucent powder. This will be our base of the eyeshadow so they just glide onto the lid nicely. Next, I'm going to fluff a transition colour into the crease and today I'm mixing together peach smoothie and creme brulee, both from Makeup Geek and I'm using my favourite blending brush to do this. Then once I was happy with the transition colour, I wanted to deepen up the crease just a little bit more as it looks like she has quite a nice neutral brown right in the crease. So I've mixed together creme brulee and latte also from Makeup Geek and I've taken a smaller blending brush so my placement is a bit more precise to do this. Then I'm just blending out those edges so there are no harsh lines. Next I'm going to start on the dark shadows. Today I'm using my Lorac Mega Pro 2 palette and with a flat shader brush I'm mixing together black ivy and black. I didn't want the shadow to be too black because in the picture of Kendall it looks like she has more of a charcoal grey colour. So what I did was tap off the excess really well and then I just started patting the shadow onto the inner part and outer part of my mobile lid. And with any excess product on the brush, I started dragging the colour right into the crease, being careful not to go any higher as when we do a bit of blending later, that will bring the colour up just a bit. After doing that, there should be a blank part of skin right in the middle of the mobile lid. That is where we will be placing the other shadow. But before I did anything else, I gave all of that a really good blend with that same smaller blending brush so I could keep the blending nice and precise in the crease. Then I did the same steps to the other eye of course and I actually went in with the shadows a couple of times just to deepen up the colour just a little bit as the blending can take away some of the colour. Next on to the fun part, I'm taking Makeup Geek's Magic Act Foiled Eyeshadow which is a gorgeous golden colour and with a clean shader brush I'm dabbing and swiping the shadow onto the bare part of the lid in the centre there. These shadows also apply really well with your finger so if you didn't have a spare brush you could do that instead. Then I'm just blending out again so there are no harsh lines and so the gold shadow just blends nicely with the dark shadows either side. And just repeating those steps until I'm happy with the amount of colour I have. Forever I follow in 
Next it's time for some liner and first I am tight lining my upper waterline and I actually line the lower waterline too but I forgot to film that, sorry about that. So I'm using my favourite black gel liner and then I line my upper lash line with the same gel liner as close to the lash line as possible. And I am taking the liner right into my inner corners as you can see there. And then I just smoked it out a tad with a little definer brush. And then I wanted the liner to stand out a bit more, so I took this black liquid liner pen and lined over the top of the gel liner. I didn't do a flick or anything as it's hard to tell in the photo, but to me it looks like this look didn't have a wing, and personally I'm not the biggest fan of the wing on myself. <laughs> but go ahead and do a wing if that's your thing. And with a baby wipe, I am just wiping away any fallout that may have occurred on my face from the shadows. Then onto the face products quickly. I'm priming the skin with this Laura Mercier primer. And for foundation, I'm using the Makeup Forever Ultra HD and a Sigma F80 to buff that into the skin. For concealer, I'm using the MAC Pro Longwear and blending that out with a damp beauty blender. And I'm setting the whole face with the Face of Australia Loose Translucent Setting Powder. Then bronzing up the skin with the Charlotte Tilbury Film Star Bronze and Glow Bronzer. And using Romance from Makeup Geek as my blush. Then I'm taking my Hourglass Ambient Lighting Powder to blend all of those powder products together. And as I said earlier, I forgot to press record for my lower lash line, but all I did was take the same gel liner I used before and lined my lower waterline and smudged it into the lash line just a tiny bit. Kendall's lash line didn't look too smoked out. And then I just mimicked what I did on the upper lid with the gold and added a spot of that to the very center of the lower lash line. Then I just curled my lashes and added heaps of mascara. And I filled my brows in with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Wiz. And Kendall's inner corner highlight didn't look as intense as the gold on her lids, so I decided to pop the Charlotte Tilbury highlight on my inner corners as it's still in the goldish family of colours, but a bit more subtle. And I also popped this on the high points of my face. And then for lips, they were more on the peachy, pinky, matte side of things, so I thought it was a great excuse to use one of my favourite lip products by Buxom, as the colour was pretty well spot on. And that is the finished look. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you soon. Bye!